He was called the last universalist and was a father to chaos theory, topology, and made significant contributions to the early forms of relativity. Here are ten facts about the French mathematician Henri Poincaré. 1. Birth and Early Life Jules-Henri Poincaré was born on April 29, 1854, in the northeastern town of Nancy, France. His father, Léon Poincaré, was a professor of medicine at the University of Nancy, while his mother, Eugénie Lonois, took special care of Henri as a child as he suffered from diphtheria, an upper respiratory tract illness, leaving him without a voice for nearly a year. In 1862, when he was about eight years old, he entered the Lycée in Nancy and was described by one teacher as a monster of mathematics. At the age of 19, Henri entered the École Polytechnique, studying under the mathematician Charles Hermite and earning his degree in mathematics two years later in 1875. 2. Corps de Mines The Corps de Mines is a distinguished French engineering body focused on mining, metallurgy, and economic development, playing a crucial role in advising the government and contributing to industrial progress. In 1879, Poincaré received his degree in mining engineering from the École and joined the Corps des Mines as an inspector the same year. Despite his mathematical pursuits and professorships in the years to come, Henri would never fully leave the Corps des Mines, becoming their chief engineer in 1893 and inspector general in 1910. 3. Algebraic Topology It was the delivery of his 1985 paper, Analysis Citus, with additional supplements between 1899 to 1904, which earned Poincaré the title of the Father of Algebraic Topology, which is a branch of mathematics that uses algebraic techniques to study and understand the shape and structure of spaces. In these papers, Poincaré introduced the concepts of the fundamental group and simplicial homology, which provided a systemized mathematical framework to the study of topological or geometric spaces. 4. The Poincaré Conjecture Within the realm of topology, this famous conjecture that Poincaré introduced in 1904 proposed that every simply connected, closed, three-dimensional manifold is topologically equivalent to a three-dimensional sphere. Despite its significance, the proof eluded mathematicians throughout the rest of the 20th century. Proving the Poincaré conjecture would prove to take a long time due to the intricate nature of the problem and the development of the mathematical tools needed to address it. It would be just shy of 100 years when in 2003, Russian mathematician Grigory Perelman, relying on Richard Hamilton's theory of Ricci flow, finally provided a proof to the conjecture. 5. Chaos Theory In 1889, King Oscar II of Sweden announced a competition for his 60th birthday, one of the problems being the question of whether or not the solar system was stable. Poincaré chose for the solving of the three-body problem, which was a long-standing challenge dating back to Newton, in the understanding of the motion of three interacting celestial bodies under gravitational forces. Poincaré's first submission actually had an error in the calculation, and a month later he submitted a corrected version. As fate would have it, he then discovered that the gravitational three-body problem did not always have predictable, stable solutions. Poincaré observed that even small changes in initial conditions could lead to vastly different outcomes, making long-term predictions challenging. Poincaré recognized the sensitive dependence on initial conditions, a key characteristic of chaotic systems, marking the early seeds of chaos theory. Six. Family. While he was a junior lecturer at the University of Caen in Normandy, Henri met Louise Poulain d'Andessy, and the two would marry on the 20th of April in 1881. In the span of six years, from 1887 to 1893, Henri and Louise would have three daughters and a son, Jeanne, Yvonne, Henriette, and Léon. It is also worth noting that Henri's first cousin was a certain Raymond Poincharet, 
who served as the President of France between 1913 and 1920 and also three times as France's Prime Minister. 7. His Psyche A French psychologist by the name of Édouard Toulouse took an interest into the mind of Poincaré and published a book in 1910 about his conversations and exams with Poincaré from 1897. Toulouse said that Poincaré's thought process was spontaneous, little conscious, more like dreaming than rational, seeming most suited to works of pure imagination, and that when writing, Poincaré does not make an overall plan when he writes a paper. He will normally start without knowing where it will end. Starting is usually easy, then the work seems to lead him on without him making a willful effort. Toulouse also mentioned of Poincaré of being in general fairly clumsy and lacking greatly in artistic ability, yet also having the gift of being ambidextrous with very high visualization skills. 8. Relativity It would be safe to say that prior to 1905 and Einstein's delivery of the special theory of relativity, that Poincaré had many of the elements of the theory, had written and spoke of them, but not the whole of the theory itself. In his 1904 lecture in St. Louis, Missouri, Poincaré spoke this of relativity, saying, The principle of relativity, according to which the laws of physical phenomena must be the same for a stationary observer as for one carried along in a uniform motion of translation, so that we have no means, and can have none, of determining whether or not we are being carried along in such a motion. From the same lecture of 1904, Poincaré gives a thought experiment speaking of relativity. Here is an excerpt. All the phenomena which take place at A, for example, will be behind time, but all just the same amount, and the observer will not notice it since his watch is also behind time. Thus, in accordance with the principle of relativity, he will have no means of ascertaining whether he is at rest or in absolute motion. 9. The Philosopher Poincaré made significant contributions not only to the sciences, but also to the philosophy of science. He emphasized the importance of intuition in mathematical discovery, arguing that intuition and creativity played crucial roles alongside rigorous logic. In his book titled Science and Hypothesis, published in 1902, he explored the nature of scientific discovery and the role of hypotheses in the scientific method. Poincaré's philosophy reflected a deep appreciation for the interconnectedness of mathematics and the physical world, and his views on the philosophy of space, time, and the scientific method have left a lasting impact on both mathematical and philosophical discourse. 10. Death and Legacy Henri Poincaré passed away on July 17, 1912, from an embolism, following surgery for a prostate problem at the age of 58. His contributions to mathematics include his novel work in topology, celestial mechanics, and the three-body problem. Poincaré's insights extended beyond mathematics, influencing the nascent field of theoretical physics. He laid the groundwork for chaos theory, and his discussions on the nature of space and time foreshadowed aspects of Einstein's theory of relativity. His multidisciplinary approach and fresh thinking continue to inspire scientists across many branches, emphasizing the interconnectedness of mathematics and the physical world. His legacy endures as a testament to the power of intellectual curiosity and the enduring impact of ideas on the scientific community. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more interesting facts about our world.